What's going on, wonderful world of YouTube? This is Dan here with a kind of a response to the recent craze of the Eaton M122, aka Cadillac North Star Superchargers. Um, I know yesterday Richard Holdener posted a video of a 4.8 with the same supercharger as what we have here in front of us, and it made 501 horsepower. And, you know, I've just kind of been laughing because I see the um, response to the video. And for years, these blowers have been on eBay for $400 plus shipping. Now, all of a sudden, they're $800 plus. <laughs> Which is good because they're, they're, they're good blowers. They're not, they're, they're not bad. So, this is mine that I plan on shoving into my Camaro one a day. Um, I know I kicked around super... Uh, turbocharging and all this other stuff but you know right now my heart is on this and i've had this blower for a little bit now uh, mine was about new it, it was used and i'm fine with that so anyways i mean i like i said i've always been a fan of a um of a camaro with a supercharger just because the torque is awesome anyways a couple of my coworkers were like, you should put the supercharger on with the twin turbochargers. And I think that would be absolutely ridiculous, but I'm not going to do that. So these supercharger's, a lot of people you have been asking me on in the comments, where can I find one? Um, I don't know. You know, there's never been an issue of finding one up until after that video came out. Um, I have talked to a guy that works for MagDaddyParts.com, and he did tell me that the guy that is supplying these superchargers is just regrouping. Be patient. They're going to post more, and apparently they already have because now I'm able to find them for 800 bucks, which is great news. Second thing, if you have wreck port heads... I would say go with an LSA. For the money you're going to spend on Mac Daddy Parts fuel rails and adapters, you're already going to be into it for um, for an LSA. I'm doing this just because I'm a cheap ass. And I mean, either way, I'm going to have to buy adapters, so I'm going to run this thing. Um... So, yeah, I just feel like it. Uh, this is my 6.0. It's been on several vid videos before. Finally got pistons for it. Finally got a timing chain. I got I to hit this with some emery cloth. We had a day where it got into the 60s. And I got some flash on um, condensation on some parts. Not really a big deal. It, like I said right here, I mean, it, it wipes off. No big deal. No harm is done to the engine. Chain's still nice and free. I hit this with an emery cloth. As you can see with the uh, crank, or with the KM sensor here, I've gone 4X. And on the crank here, I have a 58X wheel. I'm going to run an E67 ECM and run flux fuel and probably do a pulley. The cam that's in it now is an LS9 cam. So, and this is a, like I said, this is a 6.0. My heads that are on here now are 862s. I do not plan on running these heads. These are just on here for mock-up. I have a set of 243s that are being milled and machined and overworked and yeah so anyways a couple things you need to consider when doing this is your throttle body it is back here don't mind my garage it's been cold in ohio i haven't had time to clean up my garage now i have this off of mine because i'm going to port mine here there's another piece that comes out to here, and it goes right up in here where the boost bypass valve is. And, you know, it'll come out to like here, 
And if you order a new one, you are going to get a throttle body for your supercharger. Throw it away. Get rid of it. A lot of the Dodges use that throttle body. The pins are offset. And I've taken the time to depin it, see what pin does what, trying to get it to work with an LS computer. Because if I could just run my throttle body back here and go around like how the Cadillacs are, that would have been great. But, unfortunately, the values inside of the motor are different. So, when the computer sees it, it freaks out. And it won't work. HB Tutors, I can see it go into Map A. And then I can see it just go into Lint Limited, which means it's in, it's in uh, Reduced en Engine Power Mode. I'm going to run a truck one, and similar to Josh's, I'm just going to have it come out over on this side here and run an electronic throttle body here. Or I may come over here. I really haven't decided yet. Uh, Josh's is a 3.5 inch plastic tube, tubing that Mac Daddy recommends. Mine, I'm probably going to go aluminum or metal just because I need to mash some stuff because it's going inside of here. Currently, I still have my LT1 inside of here, and I'm wrapping this thing up. I had to change some stuff around. But, I mean, I got the LT1 running, so I'm I'm pretty happy about, about that. And, anyways, back to this. So, another thing you're going to figure out is height. On Josh's, from this top rail here up, he's at about 8 and 3 quarter with this. Mine, I've been looking at this here and seeing what's what and everything. I'm going to see if I can't get this on mine shaved. Like all this here is shaved off. Delete this. And yeah. I mean, I'm already going to lose my wipers. I know it. And to be quite honest with you, I wouldn't want to drive this car in the rain with a supercharger on it anyways. So, I'm not really too worried about losing my wipers. Another thing. There is a cable that goes from the front of the blower underneath here up to the boost bypass valve. Your vacuum sits right here. That little black vacuum do doohickey sits right here. All the way underneath here. And when you get yours, there's going to be two brackets bolt right here where that piece I was telling about was and another one underneath there you have to fendangle that thing some way to where it will fit inside this area here and it doesn't bind that cable is thick as hell I'm thinking about getting like a motorcycle cable or a bicycle cable and going something that has a little bit more give to it because it's, it's super thick so, there's that. I posted a review of the Mag Daddy parts um, intake adapters and the fuel rails. So, just go back and look at those, vid those videos. They are insanely engineered and they are of the top-notch quality. I'm, I haven't ordered mine yet just because I'm lazy. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, anybody that was commenting looking for these blowers, be patient. From what I hear, the supplier is just regrouping because of the sudden surge in popularity, popularity of these things. And yeah, uh, we're going to do a video on Friday on Josh's car. We got it running, and I really wanted to shoot a video of the first startup, but we were just having a lot of issues with some stuff, and... We, I ended up just not filming because I'm a, I'm a one-man band with a microphone when it comes to a camera. And, uh, yeah. So we'll have a better video, video. The issue we were having was they sold Josh a alleged two-bar map sensor, and it turns out it was a one-bar. So it wasn't reading boost, and we got some more stuff. We'll talk about that on – we'll talk about his car on Friday. But I, I just want to give everybody a heads up, you know, what's going on with these things here. Be patient. 
And I'll catch you guys on the next video.